Kenya Central Bank has increased its overnight lending rate to 8%. We've also seen CPI figures coming out above 14.4% for the month of June. Talking us through some of the challenges facing Kenya's economy right now is Sunil Sangar, CEO of Canon Asset Managers. Thanks so much for your time, Sunil. Let's start off with the uh, consumer price inflation figures, the 14.45 or so percent coming out today. It just seems to be that month on month inflation is rising quicker than what the CBK had anticipated? Uh, yes, clearly the uh, central bank even in uh, January was not seeing any threats to inflation. But uh, inflation seems to have been driven by two principal factors. I think one has been the uh, petroleum prices and uh, secondly has been the uh, rainfall uh, being uh, scarce during the year. So not surprisingly the two largest elements of uh, contributing to the inflation have been uh, food and uh, food prices as well as uh, transport, uh, both of which have increased by more than 22 uh, percent. Uh, and uh, we don't seem to have, seem to be coming to an end of the inflationary cycle. It continues to uh, go up month on month, as you mentioned. I mean, obviously now the, the CBK has got to find more innovative ways of dealing with the situation. They've tried uh, hiking interest rates, but that doesn't seem to be helping. What options are available to them? I think the central bank in this instance has been uh, significantly behind the uh, curve in terms of raising the, uh, the interest rates. Uh, the inflation has risen from a level of about uh, 3% uh, through most of 2010, now to double digits, 12% uh, last month and uh, 14, almost 14.5% 14 this month. And yet the only increase in uh, interest rates, we have seen a significant increase in the interest rates only today of uh, one of 175 basis points. Uh, the last time inflation in Kenya was at this level was uh, in early 2009 and at that time the central bank rate was in the region of uh, 8.5 to 9%. Mm -hmm. So the central bank has largely been, been playing uh, catch up. I think there's still some more room for the central bank to raise rates uh, further to uh, control the inflationary trends. And uh, beyond that, uh, I think we've already seen a significant tightening in the uh, monetary policy over the last uh, two to three months. I think that we need to see more of that in, uh, going forward. Now, Sunil, another worry for the CBK is a, sh uh, a shilling that's depreciated about 11% since the start of the year. Things looking a little bit better in today's trade, but nonetheless a battering for the Kenyan currency. They're now doing things like, for instance, uh, introducing new rates for inter overnight uh, lending on the overnight market. They've banned forex trading on the overnight market. They've talked about currency speculation. In your view, do they have a grip on the situation? I think they're coming to grips with it now, uh, though they should have acted uh, much, uh, much sooner on this. Clearly, I think uh, it's a reflection of what the market thought, that the interest rates from the central bank at 6% and 6.25% through most of the year were too low. And uh, there was huge borrowing from the overnight window of the central bank by uh, commercial banks which was then being used for uh, speculation uh, either in the uh, foreign exchange markets or in the uh, fixed income markets. So clearly with that now having become uh, much more expensive overnight, I think we'll start to see the shilling at least uh, stop uh, depreciating any further. Mm. Uh, the appreciation of the shilling may, may take a little bit longer uh, before it works through the system. Mm. But I guess we'll now see uh, the shilling uh, steady out uh, at the levels of mm. uh, just under 90. 90 shillings. Uh, finally, Sunil, I mean, in the work that you do as you're advising investors how to allocate portfolios in a market like this, where the stock exchange is underperforming, where the shilling is under pressure, where growth is subdued, what do you say? How must you be investing in a country like Kenya? Well, it is, it is difficult and uh, our view on the uh, stock market this year has been uh, very neutral to uh, negative. Uh, with the inflationary pressures, with the exchange rate uh, depreciation. Uh, we do see a slowdown in the economy, which is going to translate into uh, weaker share prices. At this moment, uh, we are advising our customers to increase the allocation into the fixed income markets. The uh, interest rates have corrected quite sharply since the beginning of the year. The, in fact, the Treasury bill rates are up by almost 700 basis points uh, since, uh, since the beginning of the year. We feel this is a good level for uh, investors to start uh, locking in on uh, medium term uh, uh, fixed income instruments, uh, which we think will outperform okay. uh, these stocks in the next uh, six months. 